internal rate of return it is simply the rate of return from the investment internal rate of return is the interest or discount rate when npv of the project is considered as zero consider the formula for npv npv is equal to cf0 divided by 1 plus r raised to 0 plus cf1 divided by 1 plus r raised to 1 and so on where npv is net present value and cf0 cf1 are cash flows over the life of project for example cf0 be the cash flow initially and cf1 be the cash flow at the end of first year and so on here r be the rate of return and n be the life years of project in, in this equation when we put npv is equal to 0 the rate of return becomes internal rate of return that is IRR note that the cash inflows are taken as positive and cash outflows are taken as negative in above equation now the equation becomes 0 is equal to CF0 upon 1 plus R raised to 0 plus CF1 divided by 1 plus R raised to 1 and so on and this equation can be solved by various numerical methods like interpolation, curve fitting and graphically also. Here if the rate of return is greater than interest rate on capital then the investment is attractive. Advantages Internal rate of return considers time value of money. It also considers cash flow throughout the entire life of project. The term indicates rate which is easy to compare with interest rate in market. Limitations Internal rate of return does not distinguish between lending and borrowing. So it is difficult to judge whether the investment is attractive or not. Hence high internal rate of return is not necessarily desirable feature. In other words a high internal rate of return is not the only criteria for investment. Also note that there should be risk and sensitivity assessment associated with this financial criteria, since uncertainty in cash flows may create financial difficulties in investment. That's it. Thank you. Also watch my next video on time value of money. Please subscribe.